go film Gio in his garage. Uh, he's gonna swap his CV carb for a Makuni. Um, been wanting to film this for a, a minute now, just having the logistics haven't lined up, so we figured we'd just make it happen on a Sunday morning, bring a video to you guys, and uh, and hope you like it. So I'm gonna go pick up Kev um, in a little bit here, and then uh, we'll catch back with you. Uh, when we get the geos, so uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Guess we'll do about the. You gotta do, I think, like a intro. Like an intro, yeah. Like geos got. Or should I do the intro? Should you do the intro? Why would I do it? And geos gotta do it, right? Cooney carb swap, is that what we're yeah. doing? Yes sir, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you how to take a CV carburetor, stock carburetor off your bike, and we're gonna swap it out with a Cooney 42 millimeter. And we're also gonna show you the parts that you need. Uh, believe it or not, you actually can reuse a lot of the CV carb parts with your Cooney carburetor. So uh, okay. we'll get down with it, get you some uh, part numbers and where to get it at, and go from there. Right on. Alright, so let's go over all these parts that we have here. We have the carb here, obviously. Yep, here's the 42 millimeter carburetor. Uh, we're going to have an airbox adapter kit. This is what's going to help put the carburetor onto your existing air filter that you have on your CV. We're using a, a Nest Big Sucker one on this case, so this is going to be to help use the Arlen Nest air cleaner with the carburetor. Also here we have uh, intake seals and a carburetor um, boot from manifold to the car boot seal definitely want to if you're going to do this you might as well do it right and use all fresh gaskets because we're going to try and eliminate any kind of intake leak because if you have an intake leak it's definitely going to give you false uh, tuning characteristics so you're going to end up enriching the bike or leaning it too much and you're never going to get it to run right over here we also have an air filter mount gasket that's to put the um the actual filter to the plate that's on the carburetor. So I ended up getting a hardware kit for the stage one Arlen Ness big sucker carburetor and comes with everything. We're just gonna probably use two bolts out of this whole kit. It doesn't hurt to have some extras. It's missing the choke cable. So this actually might be an extra step or in case you got like a carburetor from a swap meet or something and it's missing, you can benefit from this also. So ended up getting a Makuni uh, choke cable, stock part number and all. And I also forgot that I needed a plunger spring and the actual plunger for the choke cable. So these three pieces right here, or there's two bags or whatever, uh, are extras. You know, you may or may not need this, but just to show you if you do, that's what you needed. Mm -hmm. um, and all of this right here I got between JP Cycles and just eBay. Probably got um, the carburetor. Uh, I traded for an s, &S carburetor, so it's like an even swap. But for everything here to make this carburetor compatible with the Dyna, probably got like 60 bucks into this, maybe less. Alright guys, we got done going through the float bowl, checking the float level, everything's within spec. We just got done putting on the new uh, Makuni choke cable. You can reuse your uh, CV choke cable, but uh, since I was already missing this one and I wanted to keep everything Makuni, I went with the aftermarket one. So now we're going to, um, pretty simple procedure. You can watch any of this uh, carburetor adjustment stuff on YouTube. I highly recommend the How to Wrench channel. 
We're giving shout outs on our channel I'm now? Just... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. No, we'll, we'll, keep, no, we'll, we'll keep it. All right, so this is the uh, the current CV card that's on there, and uh, now we got the Makuni. Boom! Got the on. Done. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make this bike run worse. This should be an upgrade. You know what though, Ken? Look right here. Oh dang. I got a shave. Wait, you're gonna what? We gonna what now? I gotta shave this fin right here. Oh! That's what uh, I- We're gonna get the good camera out. So far so good, uh, we got the Makuni on with the air cleaner. Almost looks like you can't even tell the difference, you know, but it's on there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it fired up and see how it runs. One eighty. So What's that? One eighty to fakie to slider. <laughs> ah! Oh man. How's it? Just gonna come back, rip Geo's bike apart. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was like a bus, bus driver. driver. Yeah. That's the only way I know how to do. T-Sport Jess, not on a T-Sport. <laughs> Now I can't land as Was well. it still like popping and farting? Well, I didn't have the gas on. No. Oh. But once you turn the gas on, yeah, yeah, it was, oh, yeah, it was a lot better. Did you actually like prop it a little bit? No. Oh, yeah. White. Yeah, I would fatten that up. I'd put that in the vid too. What the? 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, it needs a little tune. Right oh, oh, you are? Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's crazy. Yeah. Here, let me get this little Really zoom in. Oh, okay. That's fine. See, uh, <laughs> we took the spark plug out because the bike kind of has a little bit of a tuning characteristic, it seems like. It's sneezing a little bit. Come to see the spark plug, it's a little white. So she's running lean. So we're gonna open up the fuel air mixture and uh, enriching it. Oh, nice. nice. All right. You got your redemption. That was good. Nice. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> reverse you gotta go in oh. because it send off yeah, successful oh. install right that's it Thank all right cool all right just got done filming at GS house for a successful install video, I would say. He's happy with it. Bike's running good. Dave gave it a little final blessing and tune-up. And uh, and yeah, we should be good. Good to go. Taking Kev back to his house. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Fob check and see that the uh, float is set right. Are you saying fob or fob? <laughs> what? Fob? Are you saying fob or fob? When? When did I say either? This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>